What it is guys, my name is Swifters and today I'm going to be bringing you the official patch notes for GTA 5 Online patch update 1.12. Now guys, before this video does get underway, I wanted to say that I recently uploaded a solo unlimited money glitch for patch update 1.11, however I uploaded the video literally 30 minutes before 1.12 came out, so for those of you who did try to do that unlimited money glitch, it is now patched, so I am extremely sorry for those of you who did try it. Now speaking of money glitches, let's get right into patch update 1.12. Now guys, all the information that I will be covering in this video can be found in an article that I have put in the description, so for those of you who would like to confirm the information that I will be giving you, you're more than welcome to click the link in the description. Now guys, I'm going to be reading the top changes off of this Rockstar article, but first I'm going to be talking about the money glitches. Now Rockstar has said that they officially patched all of the money glitches in GTA 5. These money glitches included the ones where you could park Pegasus vehicles in front of the garage, and uh, that allows the vehicle to duplicate once you drive it out, so that is now patched, so we're going to have to find a different way in order to do an unlimited money glitch. So that money glitch method and car duplication glitch are now patched. I'm not too sure about the other ones, but you guys are more than welcome to try them out for yourself. I'm definitely going to do my best in order to bring you guys a brand new solo unlimited money glitch for patch update 1.12. Well, like I said, I'm going to be reading the top changes and they are as following. A new Lester ability has been added. Players will now be able to call Lester to have him tell his cop buddies to turn a blind eye to any crime you may or may not be committing for a short period of time. Players are now awarded more cash from completing parachute, races, death matches, and other jobs with less than 4 players. Every time a player likes or dislikes content, they will receive 50 RP. Fixed an issue where players who had upgraded personal vehicles prior to 1.10 were only able to sell them for 10,000. Fixed an issue where players lost the Gusenberg Sweeper despite having purchased it during the Valentine's event. Fixed an exploit where players were able to use the creator and free room session and spawn in objects or vehicles. Fixed an exploit where players were able to use weapons within their apartment and garage to kill other players. Vote screens now progress when a job has received a majority vote. Fixed an issue where players could be unable to reclaim their personal vehicles from the impound lot after being destroyed. Fixed an issue where it was possible for a player to receive hangs and long load times after completing several activities. And finally, fixed an issue where players were able to render themselves and the car they were driving in invisible to grief other players. Like I said guys, those were the top changes. If you'd like to check out all of the changes, you can click the article in the description of this video. So guys, this pretty much sums up this video. Like I said, money glitches are now patched, so I will do my best in order to find a brand new solo unlimited money glitch in GTA 5 online after the patch update 1.12 so be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned until next time guys this has been swifters i'm out peace